Hello and welcome to Genetically Modified Dragons YouTube channel. My name is Keith. If you guys want to do me a favor and click that red button that says subscribe right before this video starts, go ahead and click the bell as well so you can be notified when I upload a video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And before we get started, again, what's going on today, guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a new pickup that I have. It's right there. Right now he's in this chameleon type cage. Eventually he's going to be moving into this cage. This is a cage that my cousin had. I helped him build a while ago. And I'm going to reuse it, but the door is broken, so I have to re refurbish this one um i think i'm gonna do a different type of door on it this one used to hang on the outside i think i'm gonna put it on the inside of the cage fill it up with substrate i'm gonna set it on top of this multi-unit cage here had a two lacertas in that in that um, those two compartments with the light on it but yeah my buddy caesar landon produced this guy Last year, he did a pretty good do um, job with taming him. He's still a little flighty inside of the cage, but he's not trying to bite or anything like that. See, he's pretty cool. And I'm just going to keep on working with him and pick up where he left off. Doing a good job. So I'm just going to let him chill for right now. I just wanted to show you guys. This is a Paralieris Iguana Spiny Tail. I picked this guy up last week, I believe. I was trying to wait and do an unboxing from a different um, animal I'm getting. And show him at the same time, but communication is a little bit lacking on the other animal that I'm getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys him. My daughter's named him Leo, and again, he's a Pelieris iguana. Pretty cool guy. I had some of these before. If you guys have been here um, on the channel for a while, you may have seen them. I was keeping in an outside enclosure. And unfortunately, they got too cold outside and passed away. But picked up this guy just because I like the species so much. I think they're very beautiful. And the other ones, I couldn't even do this with them. They wouldn't let me touch them at all because they were raised outside in Arizona. But this guy has been handheld since pretty much day one. So he's going to be a good specimen. Of... Let me take him outside so you can get a better look at it. his true colors and stuff. Right now he's still pretty gray, but they do pick up some pretty blues. Okay, made it outside so you guys can get a better look at this guy. Right now, I think he's going into a shed. It's a little shed popping right there. Nice thick tails, it's been eating well. And we, the reason we think it's a male because his crests are pretty much raised compared to what a females will be at this size. You can see a little bit of blue coming in right there. And usually right there behind the front arms is where more um, blue will usually come in. But again, yeah, this is a Perlieris spiny tail iguana. It's my new pickup. I wanted to do a two for one video, two new specimens in one video, but unfortunately the other one that I'm supposed to be purchasing the guy hasn't um, sent me the pictures yet, so 
I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But if it does, I'll do a video unboxing on that. But I just wanted to show you guys this little guy. Right now he's eating greens. Um, super worms, crickets, dubia. I've been trying to get him on Missouri um, tortoise diet, but haven't had him take it here yet. Right now he's probably around 10 to 12 inches. Baby Godzilla. And I've been handling them every day. Like I said, I want to keep them calm. Because once they get about, I think they get about two feet. So once they get two feet, I would like to be able to take them out and let people handle them and stuff like that without him being too scared. So I'm going uh, to um, handle them as much as possible and take them into different environments so that he's used to pretty much everything. So I'm going to put him back in a cage. Um, let me see if I can get a some uh, footage of the euros if they're um, not too flighty today so just a second before we go take a look at the euros I'm gonna uh, tell you guys my plans on this cage um, I definitely want to move that from the center of the cage and move it to um, more of one, one corner so that I can put a UVB strip across I'm going to use a T5 high input. I believe I can get a 24 inch one at a diagonal up here uh, so that he can have um, a spot to, spot for heat and then a spot for uh, UVB pretty much all over the cage. So I'm gonna, probably going to build a shelf right here and put a rock on it. And so it'll be right, so it'll be right underneath the, uh, the heat lamp. And then I'm going to put maybe four inches of substrate on the bottom of here and I probably build some type of water feature I bought some um, little pumps last year for because I plan on putting the bitter dragons outside when I had them and I was gonna put a water feature in each of the enclosures but it never went through so I still had those pumps so I probably built like a waterfall inside of here because these iguanas don't really eat still water at the water they like the water when it's moving so I'll probably build some type of um, fountain inside of here and make it look more naturalistic in here. So that should be real nice. So if you're not tuned in and subscribed, make sure you subscribe and tune in so you can see that process. So now let's go over and look at the Euromastics. All right, this is one of the little, the girls I got from the um, Anaheim show last year. She was very thin when I got her. She's making leaps and bounds as far as filling in and getting adapted to the captivity. I was worried about her for a little while, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna be okay. She probably breed for me in maybe a year or two. And speaking of breeding, um, if you watch my last videos, this is the mom right here of the eggs. She's still over here gardening this been almost a week now I believe and she's still gardening this and dad is in here hiding somewhere I don't see him right now he's hiding but yeah she's still defending I had one female down here I moved her up with a male right here they're both in here. Missing a little bit of breeding behavior, but no locks yet. At least locks that I have seen. Females underneath there. And then I have one more young male up here. It's going to be the nicest out of all three males that I have. I 
Can't wait till these eggs hatch. So I'll have some Captain Braille ones and they'll be a little bit more willing to be handled. I'm not gonna show them off a little better. I should have another female in here as well. She hot very good in this cage. I'm keeping them in um, keep them in smaller cages right now so I can keep track of um, what they're eating. But I do have the, this pair in a uh, seven foot cage. I have that single female in a seven foot cage. I have another seven foot cage here with, that I'm gonna put more euros in. Probably gonna put this pair in there eventually or probably back in there. But it just uh, take a little bit of time. And I don't wanna put them in too much space that I never can see what they're doing. So I have them in a little bit smaller enclosures right now, but they're thriving in them. So I'm not too worried about the size of the enclosure right now. I do have the option to put them in the bigger cages. And I'm also gonna build, you see how this is seven foot on top of seven foot. And then I have a seven foot right here. I'm gonna build another seven foot to go on this, this area. So that it's a total of four. four seven footers and I eventually want to have four four um oscillate oscillate a pair in these cages so four different groups of breeding pairs I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of her when I first got her so you can see how far she came along as far as her size I really didn't think she was going to make it, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you had not subscribed, share the video, help the channel grow, hit the thumbs up button. Oh, there's the mail right there. It's right there hiding. I would like to also um, give a shout out to Edison Alpas for sharing the YouTube channel on his Facebook page. I did see a couple more subscribers come to the channel after he posted this, so I'd like to thank him. Thanks again, Edison. I enjoyed talking to you and answering your questions, so again, thank you.